20 years ago, the Kidston mine was closed down. This was catastrophic. The local community suffered tremendously. So in effect, the town died. When I heard about the Kidston project, I became immediately intrigued with how they were going to transform this retired mine into something as useful as a pumped hydro energy storage facility. The world is transitioning to a renewable energy future. One of the challenges that we experience is that these are variable generators. Wind and solar are not there all the time. We therefore need to find a mechanism for us to have continuous power so that electricity is there when people need it. Engineers intrinsically have a desire to solve problems and I feel personally a responsibility to be a part of that solution. The Kidston project was a former gold mine that we rejuvenated into a pumped hydro project. What made GenX think about Kidston as a location is that it is in a prime solar radiation location for the development of a solar farm. And it then also has the added advantage of the mine. The Kidston project utilizes the difference in height of the existing mining pits to facilitate a pumped hydro energy storage scheme. Pumped storage is a very long, big battery. It enables you to store electricity and use it for what can be weeks at a time and complements the renewable energy situations where there may not be wind or there may not be solar. Mott MacDonald got involved with optimization of the project, which reduced the cost and the construction program. In a project like this, it's critically important to understand the role of embodied carbon so that you can drive reduction pathways. For the future, it is imperative that we consider new ways to minimise the amount of carbon that is embedded in new infrastructure projects. For this, we developed a first of its kind, the Carbon Twin Tool, which calculates embodied carbon in large infrastructure projects. So one of the key benefits of the Carbon Twin, it provides an auditable trail of your embodied carbon, which leads directly into your ESG decision making. The Carbon Twin is now a mechanism where we can actually show the successful reductions in carbon that has occurred in developing this project. Previously to calculate embodied carbon, a team would spend months to generate a report which would be delivered after a project. Now we've got real-time feedback enabling team to make real-time decisions. Mott McDonald looks to have people that have a similar view, a driven way to find solutions. We brought together a number of key specialists, both locally and globally, and it was a real success. The strength was in the people that we had on the project that made it so special. I'm really proud to work for a company like Mott McDonald that values so highly doing projects that serve a social, environmental and useful purpose. The transformation at Kidston will have a huge positive effect on the local community. It will bring work to those that want it within the area. It will improve the environmental position. I believe that projects like Kidston really will change the game in Australia and the world's transition to renewables.